competing as uh, Division II champs this year. First, can you just talk about the feeling um, and, and for these kids, played a great game, especially in the second half, really. Yeah, I mean, just to get here again, um, you know, every team when they start the season tries to get here. And we're very fortunate we've been here, you know, two years in a row. And it's very difficult to defend your championship because you, you don't sneak, it, sneak by anybody, you know, the second time through. And we knew uh, that the Garden was going to come out and play very hard against us tonight. And we would have to work extremely hard. Yeah, what was the approach in that sort of, uh, the setup for the game, defending champs against a team with, you know, Maybe a sleeper, but a lot of momentum behind them. Yeah, well, we've been on the other end of this. I mean, last year we were probably the sleeper. And uh, so, you know, we knew they were going to be very tough. Um, you know, the seeding is all relative, and, it's, and the record's all relative in who you play. So we knew they played a very tough non league schedule, and that, um, that they were going to be, they were already battle tested. So we knew we had to work very hard this year. Yeah. Uh, I know, know he didn't do it alone, but can you just talk about John? Um, and sort of his, what this does for his legacy as one of the, the great uh, St. Bernard's players in, in the past few years. Well, I mean, John, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's carried us sometimes this year. And, um, you know, tonight he didn't have to. We had a lot of guys step up. And, uh, you know, Johnny's Johnny. He's going to do his thing. And, uh, but we're, we're a tougher team when other guys are stepping up, hitting shots. And I think you saw that from many guys tonight. Yeah. First, just tell me the feeling repeating as uh, Central Match champs. You know, obviously a great season to... Uh, to come to Fitchburg State again and take the title, how does it feel? Uh, there's no better feeling, to be honest. We work so hard all year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great, honestly, you know, because like we worked really hard for this, and um, I know that if we were going to be able to get back here this year, there was no one's going to be able to beat us, and we just got to keep working, and the run doesn't end here. Yep. Uh, what does this mean to you, you guys, especially you, John? Uh, it's sort of a, a legacy sort of thing. Uh, you know, St. Pete's has a great history with basketball, and. Uh, representing them the past past couple of years the way you guys have? Uh, well, ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a Bernardian, and when I finally got my chance, I didn't want to let Coach Pierce down, so we just play every game like it's a championship game. Andy? And uh, I've only been here two years, but the two years I've been here, I've won two different championships, so this feels like normal, but we know it's really not. It takes a lot of hard work to get here, and uh, it's great to just uphold the school and uphold the school name, and uh, yeah. I'm just so blessed every day to come here. Yeah, uh, it seemed like um, Gardner didn't really have the size to match you guys, and can you, can you talk about that aspect of the game? It seemed at, at certain points you guys tried to, uh, to definitely get it inside to Andy. Uh, well, we knew they were going to be physical, so we were just penetrating all night, and then Andy, when they tried to come over and bump us out, Andy was always in the middle of standing by himself. So. Uh, I just knew that like, if the ball was going to be in my area, that I was going to have to go up top uh, strong because these kids are tough from Gardner and they deserve a lot of credit. But uh, I knew my teammates were going to find me in the right place to score, so I just made the buckets when I could. What did you guys see out of Gardner? You know, great run this postseason. Uh, it really stuck with you guys, especially in the first half. Uh, they're, they're a tough team. They play a tough schedule like we do. We knew that they were going to be around in the end. <laughs> yep. uh, they kind of reminded us of our team last year, kind of just like barely getting into the playoffs and always having to take every game serious. and. Um, they're a great team, they're well coached, and they're just a tough team to beat with that one. Yeah, and how excited are you guys for Tuesday, and what's the mindset going into that game? Uh, mindset is we got to work hard. We know four teams left in the state, Division Two. Everybody's a good team. We're going to have to play our A game.